guys. You knew it was coming. We had a lot of shows happen over the weekend, so we got a lot of words to spew at you. So here we go with results, starting with Rise. Yeah, Rise 3, uh, the Berwyn Eagles Club. Yeah, kicking off the Shimmer weekend. Yeah, where Sierra defeated Lainey Luck, Dimension to Rose defeated Dynamite Didi, Deanna Perrazzo defeated Cheerleader Melissa, uh, Kikyo? I think that's how it's it. Yeah. Kick yo. Is, is this going to be the new... Kick yo. Is this going to be the new... Uh, Tenaglia? Tenaglia? Tenaglia. I think that one's a lot easier to say, yeah, actually. Kick, kick yo versus... Kick yo. Uh, she defeated Jules Malone. Uh, Hudson Enemy defeated Savannah Evans. Soraya Knight defeated Stacey Shadows. Rosemary defeated Delilah Doom. Uh, Chelsea Green and Brett Baker defeated Jessica Troy and Charlie Evans. And Chelsea Blackheart defeated Angel Dust to retain the Phoenix of Rise Championship. All right. And also on Friday we had PWG hey. pushing forward back. 14th anniversary. Congrats, peoples. Uh, Sammy Guevara defeated Ray Horace. The Unbreakable Effin Machines defeated the Young Bucks because muscles. Uh, <laughs> Keith Lee defeated Leo Rush and Trent Beretta. Oh. Uh, because apparently Phoenix wasn't there. Uh, Desmond Xavier defeated Dave Chris, Jake Chris, and Sam McCallahan. Yeah, because, uh, Jason Cade and... Shane Strickland. Shane Strickland couldn't make it. Also weren't there, so that six-person tag match didn't happen. Turned into a fatal four-way, potentially three-on-one handicap match. Yeah, and if it was three-on-one handicap match, kudos, Desmond Xavier. <laughs> They're pushing the hell out of him. <laughs> That's three guys who... When, when teaming together, I would not, not many single people could defeat. I wouldn't want to mess with any of them singly, let yeah. alone as a unit. Uh, Ricochet defeated Trevor Lee. Now, the main event, Chuck Taylor defeats Zack Sabre Jr. to become your new PWG champion. Sexy Chucky e. T at the top of PWG. Yeah. More like Mount Rush Motor now. What? What? Moving on. Yeah, Saturday. Back of Irwin for Shimmer 92. Yep. Uh, with Thundy. Thundy. Thundy Kidder. <laughs> Thundy Kidder. <laughs> Thunder Kitty defeat Charlie Evans. Uh, Sienna defeats Samantha Heights. Uh, Madison Rain. Neat seeing her on the card. Yeah. Defeat Taylor Hendricks. Cheerleader Melissa defeated Savannah Evans. Uh, Shotzi Blackheart defeated Hudson Envy. Cat Powers defeated Nicole Matthews. Delilah Doom and Lovell Bates. That was a four corners match. We know. Not a three on one handicap match. Yeah. Uh, Britt Baker and Chelsea Green defeated Rosemary and Angel Dust. Deanna Perrazzo defeated Cherry Bomb. Uh, Lefisto defeated Casey Spinelli. Uh, Tessa Blanchard and Vanessa Craven defeated Kaylee Ray and Mia Yim. And then Madison Eagles, Shaza McKenzie, and Soraya Knight defeated. Uh, Mercedes Martinez, Nicole Savoy, and Shayna Basler. Which they are called the Trifecta. The Trifecta, yeah. That's a cool name. The Trifecta. <laughs> uh, also, <clears throat> on Saturday. <clears throat> Chikara! Again, it's not happening. Chikara! Trying to be in a deeper range. Chikara! There you go. That's bad. Very, to get very it. white it. Uh, <laughs> Gibsonville, North Carolina, hosted the Parting of Ways. Yeah. Uh, in which Race Jackson defeated Officer Maloney. Surprise, surprise. Uh, the team of Coleg, or Cobalt and Oleg Usurper, defeated the Cyberhawks 2000. Surprise, surprise. Paul Lewicken defeated Officer Warren Barksdale. Shocker. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad we went with Coleg and not Old Ball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Icarus defeated Jeremy Leary. His touchdown wasn't there. Yeah, for some reason, Mr. Touchdown wasn't there. Uh, the Giant Murloc and Cajun Crawdad and Hermit Crab defeated Tiny Oberian and the Sea Stars. Literally, like, the smallest members of the Furies. <laughs> Shocker, again. And in the main event... Juan Francisco de Coronado successfully defended the Chicago Grand Championship from one missile assault man. Or is he? 
Missile Assault Man is no more. According to Missile FKA Missile Assault Man. What does that sound like? It happens every week. Almost. The uh, last two weeks in a row, at least. <sighs> Jeez. It's not like firecrackers a little bit this time. That might, that might be what it is. Uh, also, in Charlotte, North Carolina, not too far away, we had Evolve 88. Yeah. Uh, Jason Kincaid defeated Caleb Connolly. ACH versus Austin Theory never happened. It turned into two other singles matches. Austin Theory defeating a guy named Ethan Case. Uh, well, Keith Lee defeated Ethan Page. Uh, Tracy Williams defeated Darby Allen. Fred Yehi defeated ACH. Uh, Anthony Henry and James Drake defeated Doom Patrol of Catchpoint to become the new tag team champions of Evolve. Congratulations. In the main event, in the No Holds Bar match, Zack Sabre Jr. at least kept the Evolve championship to himself when he beat Timothy Thatcher. Yeah. Uh, heading back to the Berwyn Eagles Club for Shimmer 93. Yeah. Uh, where Veda Scott defeated Madison Rain. Uh, Leva Bates and Delilah Doom defeated Jessica Troy and Charlie Evans. Nicole Matthews defeated Samantha Heights. Hudson Envy defeated Deanna Perrazzo. Shotzi Blackheart defeated Cheerleader Melissa. Rosemary defeated Britt Baker. Madison Eagles defeated Shayna Basler. Mia Yim defeated Kaylee Ray. Tessa Blanchard and Vanessa Craven defeated Nevia and Havoc to retain their tag titles. Shaza McKenzie defeated Nicole Savoy uh, to become the new Heart of Shimmer champion. Congratulations. And Jason. Mercedes Martinez successfully defended the Shimmer Championship against Soraya Knight. All right. And then back to Gibsonville, North Kakalaki. Chikara. It, it feels different. feels wrong. It's, I got to do it with a different, a different hand. It's weird. I don't like this. Hopefully I'm over this shit by next week. Yeah. Uh, where the Whisper defeated Juke Joy Lucas Calhoun. Uh, Des Peloton defeated the S Sandwich Squad. Well, you should follow that up with the fact that apparently the Whisper can read minds. The, the Sandwich Squad? I really hope it was like fucking the, the Spirit Squad and like Subway and mascot in, outfits. In, in Subway uniforms. Mike, are you running out of ideas? Lettuce! No, no, move on. We are the sandwich squad. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. <coughs> oh, God. Dustin defeated Slum Caprice. Uh, the Hermit Crab successfully defended the Young Lions Cup against Cajun Crawdad. Uh, Fire Ant defeated Frightmare yes. in the last man to standing There's match. There's still an ant around. And in the main event. The Rumblebees successfully defeated Crumbles and Defarge to become the new champion. Ah, be honest, us. <laughs> but then the devious dairy deviants. I was starting to like you guys. The maniacal treats of malevolent tastiness. Los ice creams cashed in their golden opportunity from all the way back at the challenge of the immortals. They've been holding on to him. You know who else though is still has one? Jervis. <laughs> Where yeah, Jervis? He's gonna be the one to beat Juan Francisco. He's, he's gonna keep it for like another two years. Uh, yeah. And those ice creams cash in. This time... It's legit. Yeah. And Los Ice Creams, for legitimately the first time in... I'll give them that. The fact that they've been around for about ten years now in Chikara. They've been around for a while. I guess they kind of deserve it. Uh, are they Campeones de Parejas? Sorry, Solo. You had him for a second. I blame Travis. Wait, I, I have me or Huckabee? Huckabee. Okay, good. I, I have one minor complaint about this though. Okay. Why never the Bateri? Why did the Bateri never win 
the tag team championships over there in Chikara? That's a good question. What was that an encore match? Oh yeah, uh, was it Razorhawk? Yeah, Razorhawk Hawk defeated Mr. Azerbaijan. 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 <laughs> Uh, that's my ending of Saturday stuff, but you have, uh, d this is going to be a new segment, weekly yeah. segment, botchy results! <laughs> Travis's weekly botch. Uh, because Combat Zone Wrestling had a show. Yeah, they did. Called Evolution. Evolution! I hope that song was their fucking theme. The I show. hope so too. Uh, Connor Claxton defeated Ricky Shane Page. Dub Boys defeated Private Party. Uh, Tim Donst defeated Ace Austin. Uh, Shakespeare. Ace Austin, Shakespeare, and Alexander James. Anthony Bennett, Devin. Anthony Bennett! Tim Donst beat Anthony Bennett. Alright. Uh, Devin Tons. Moore and Kit Osborne. Masada and the Storm of Entrails defeated The Awakening. Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Uh, successfully retained the CCW Wire Championship against Trevor Lee. Uh, Ace Romero defeated A.R. Fox. Scarlet and Graves and Trey Miguel defeated Ohio's for Killers. And in the main event, we had two championships on the line. We had Davey Richards' CCW title and Shane Strickland's Defy, Defy. Championship. Yeah. And Shane Strickland is now both the CZW and Defy champion by defeating David Richards, Joe Gacy, and Leo Rush. So congratulations to Mr. Strickland. Yeah, kudos. Now on to stuff that I usually talk about. We're talking about Ring of Honor. Uh, three row, three pretty good matches all the way through. Middle one, I was more impressed with the fact that Ultimo Guerrero can still go as much as he does. Yeah. Uh, but we had Dalton Castle and the boys defeat uh, Coast to Coast and Flip Gordon. Fantastic match. Flip Gordon is amazing. Uh, LSG got hit with the bangerang. Matt Taven defeated Ultimo Guerrero after hitting a low blow behind the referee's back and then hitting the climax afterwards. And then in tag team action, the Motor City Machine Guns defeated War Machine. So, yeah. That's it for Ring of Honor. Yeah, I just want to put out Ultimo Guerrero, 45 years old. Yeah. Debuted in 1990. Still looking pretty damn good, and it wasn't until last night that I realized his main his name means Ultimate Warrior in Spanish. Yeah. That's fantastic. Uh, that is it for Saturday. Let's talk about he had to go with Spanish Sunday. name because the English version was copyrighted. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Keeping things in Berwyn. Yeah. Still for Shiver 94. Jessica Havoc defeated Kick Out. <laughs> uh, Cheerleader Melissa defeated Samantha Heights. Cherry Bomb defeated Kaylee Ray. Angel Dust and Taylor Hendricks in a four corner survival match. Madison Rain defeated Beta Scott. Sienna defeated Dynamite Didi. Lufisto defeated Shotzi Blackheart. Nicole Matthews defeated Deanna Perrazzo with your new favorite finishing move name, the Vancouver Maneuver. Hell yeah. Uh, Britt Baker and Chelsea Green defeated Tessa Blanchard and Vanessa Craven in a title match. Uh, Shannon Basler defeated Casey Spinelli. Madison Eagles defeated Nicole Savoy. Shaza Blackheart. No, Shaza McKenzie. Yeah. Shotzi no, Blackheart. Shotzi, yeah. And Shaza McKenzie. Uh, I'm just going so fast, I'm mixing my <laughs> names up. Successfully defended at the Heart of Sh Shiver Championship. Heart, I can't talk anymore. Well, so what tired. was that? You say that again? Shaza McKenzie successfully defended the Heart of Shiver Championship against Rosemary. And Mercedes Martinez successfully defended the Shiver Championship against Mia Yim. Then in Mariana, Georgia, we had Evolve 88. Yeah. Uh, where Timothy Thatcher defeated Darby Allen. ACH defeated Ethan Page. Uh, Jason Kincaid defeated John Davis. Uh, Keith Lee and Tracy Williams went into a no contest because fuck the referee. Uh, <laughs> J <laughs> Anthony Henry and James Drake defeated Doom Patrol and the Ugly Ducklings. Uh, and then Austin Theory defeated Trent Barretta. Because he can't really... He, he uses both names. He's Trent Beretta in Evolve. Yeah. He's and Trent everywhere else. Zack Sabre Jr. Again, 
successfully defends the Evolve Championship, this time against Fred. Yeah, yeah. Because he wasn't going against Chuck Taylor. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. new PWG champion. Yeah, yeah, go Dustin. Uh, and then, rounding things out, we started things with the ladies. Let's end it with the ladies. The ladies. Shimmer PWG. 95. This is my favorite kind of weekend. Uh, Sh- Shimmer 95. Yeah. Uh, where Shotzi Blackheart defeated Beta Scott. Samantha Heights defeated Jessica Troy. Uh, cheerleader Melissa defeated Casey Spinelli, which I spelled differently on this one. <laughs> uh, Jessica Havoc defeated Charlie Evans. Solo Darling, making her one and only appearance in this t- set of tapings. She was busy with uh, tag tiles. Yeah. Fuck <sighs> off. Oh. <laughs> she defeated Lefisto, though. Uh, which is a big, kind of a big win. Yeah. Uh, Hudson Envy defeated Mia Yim, also kind of an upset win there. Uh, Soraya Knight defeated Cat Powers. Nicole Savoy defeated De- Deanna Perrazzo. Uh, Tessa Blanchard and Vanessa Craven successfully defended their tag titles from Lava Bates and Lava Do, and Britt Baker and Chelsea Green, and Rosemary and Angel Dust. Damn. Uh, Shaza McKenzie successfully defended the Heart of Shipper Championship from Nicole Matthews, and Mercedes Martinez successfully defends the Shipper Championship. I'm <coughs> just... Madison Eagles. Hey, a successful weekend for Mercedes Martinez. Except, except for the six match, man, yeah. the six women tag match. Yeah. But when her title's on the line, that's when it made. That's what it matters. <clears throat> that's it for results. We don't really have any news. Uh, uh, Al- Alberto, Alberto used Twitter to challenge Triple H to a street fight. I'll be real. I would actually, I think, really enjoy Alberto Del Rio versus Triple H in a street fight. Fuck Alberto Del Rio. This guy's a I'd, this guy's a birdie hater. Yeah, yeah, I am. Fuck that guy. Um, I like him. Yeah, I would. Like I'll throw this in news real quick so we can just you can just get all your stuff done and. Uh, upcoming shows, but uh, the G1 Climax is getting ready to start uh, this weekend, and we have the block set, so I won't be talking about any New Japan shows, I'll just kind of be giving updates uh, on the tournament as it continues on. So in block A, we have Bad Luck Fale, Hiroki Goto, Kota Ibushi, Tomohiro Ishii, uh, Togi Makabe, Yuji Nagata, Tetsuya Naito, Zack Sabre Jr., Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Yoshihashi. And then in Block B, we have Michael Elgin, Evil, Satoshi Kojima, Kazushika Okada, Kenny Omega, Juice Robinson, Sonata, Minoru Suzuki, Tamatanga, and Toriano. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a bold prediction here. Okay. And by no means am I going to say that he's actually going to win anything. I mean, he's going to win something, but not like the whole thing. He's not going to be like a big picture winner okay. here. But look for this to be a breakout run for Juice Robinson. Absolutely. He has been getting more and more time to shine in New Japan, and he's taking the ball and running, running with it, so I'm excited to see what he does. You know what? No, I'm just going to bring this up, because technically now it's indie news, uh, despite the fact that it pertains to World um, Wrestling Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, WWE released Austin Aries. Why? Because Austin Aries requested his release. Because? Because, and I, I get this, is Austin Aries didn't want to be on 205 Live. Nobody wants to be on 205 Live. I don't know. I'm the king of the cruise of wet. Well, when you're the champion, yeah, of course you want to be on the fucking show. No, I guess Austin was just very frustrated with his position, because uh, he didn't, you know, he the commentator shtick wasn't supposed to last. Uh, I assume he probably wanted to go back to NXT. Uh, probably we have done that. Probably resume partnering up with Robert Strong, I imagine. Probably not. Uh, and then whatever from there. But unfortunately, and then I guess also you have to. We also ta- need to take into consideration that he's going to be taking off what I understand is going to be a substantial amount of time to recover from a back injury. Oh, all right. 
was nice while it lasted, Austin. And we got it, to see you at the last NXT show, so that was cool. Yeah, and he had three stellar pay-per-view matches against Neville. That's true. All Including, right. he, he was there long enough to have a WrestleMania match. That's true. So that's that that that's that's a plus for him. It's a lot more than most of the two or five live guys can say. That's very true. Well, that's it for news. It's time for a coming shells. Where, like I said, I don't have any, but I'll be talking about the beginning of the G1 climax next week. Yes, and I have a couple. Yeah. On Friday, at First Energy Stadium in Reading, PA. It's Chikara live Chikara. at First Energy Stadium, where the only match so far announced is Dasher Hatfield versus The Whisper. Uh, also on Friday is going to be Shine 43. This is the beginning of a tournament, yeah. a brand new tournament for the Shine Nova Championship. This might be like their their intercontinental title. They're, ver- they're the heart of Shimmer Championship. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here are the first round matches. Maya Scott versus Priscilla Kelly. Leah Vaughn versus ACR. Uh, Ava Pereira versus Stormy Lee. Kira Hogan versus Shotzi Blackheart. La Rosa Negra versus Jordan Grace. Aria Blake versus Dynamite Didi. Candy Cartwright versus Robin Reed. And Ivelisse versus Holly Dead. All right. Uh, on Saturday, 15th, AAW's United We Stand comes to us from Marionette Park, Illinois, where we're going to have Johnny Mundo Morris and Nitro Higgins versus... Higgins? Hennigan. Hennigan. Well, who, who's you Higgins? Said, uh, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Hennigan, Higgins. They're just, that's the same word, just less letters. Moving on. Uh, he takes on Chuck Taylor, the new PWG champion. That's a, that's a, oh, it's a clash of the champions right now. Lucha Underground Champion. Lucha Underground Champion over the GWG Champion. Battle for Southern Cali. Battle of Los Angeles. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Penta, El Cerro Miero, and Shane Strickland take on Trevor Lee and Garza Jr. Uh, Matt Riddle versus Matt Fetchett in the Battle of the Mats. Uh, two mats I bet it's going to be a Matt wrestling match. Two Mats fighting on the mat. <laughs> Matty Matt. Matt. Uh, War Machine versus Ohio's for Killers. ACA <coughs> versus Myron Reed. Uh, Samantha Heights versus Scarlet Bordeaux. Hey. We don't cover her too often. I'd like to cover her a lot. I was going to say that. Uh, Eddie Kingston versus David Starr in an I Quit match. Good luck, David uh, Starr. Uh, AR Fox and Phoenix will defend the tag titles against Scarlet and Graves. And Sammy Callahan will defend his AAW title against Keith. Lee. Whose limitless. His limits are non existent. Exactly. And on Sunday the 16th, Attack Pro Wrestling has a show from Bristol called Neon Wrist Lock, but we don't know what's happening. Nope. And then Shine 44 also happens on Sunday, and it's going to be the continuation, the semifinals and finals of the tournament, along with other non tournament matches. Exactly. And that is it for this week's Indie News. For now, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click the links down in the description. There's a lot of links. Those links aren't the ones that we think are the most important on the Indie News. Because the links that are the most important links are the links that are above our links. And they're the links to the links of the wrestling things that we just talked about. Like shimmer.blogspot.com. Yeah, and chicarpro.com. ROHWrestling.com. CZWrestling.com. And many more, but we want to add more based on your suggestion. Using all the social media, send us links to websites, Facebook pages, YouTube pages, anywhere that we can get a little bit of glimpse of your favorite and or local promotion. And if you can please find a way to get us upcoming shows and within 24 hours the results of said shows, we will continue to talk about the people that we find interesting. And we'll give you a shout out for bringing them to our attention. Yeah, boy. You can also check out the podcast. That's one of the links. Check out Reasonable Wrestling Fans. That's Reasonable the W. Like Like wrestling. wrestling. But you want to stay over here because coming up next will be our review of WWE's goodness gracious 
Fire Dick the pay-per-view. So look forward to that, plus all of our regular reviews. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Fuck Alberto Del Rio.